In this video, we're going to show you how to manage agent groups in the NetBees dashboard. First thing we need to do is go to the Agents tab here. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and click on Manage Agent Groups, top right hand corner. As you can see, we already have two groups made. We're going to make a third one here. So click Add Agent Group. We're going to call this Default. So we want all the agents uh, currently in the dashboard and uh, new agents to go into this group. Target wise, we're going to do, let's do Google Apps, let's do Google.com, and let's do Zoom, since this will also be on the remote sensors as well here. Click Save. And now we have a new agent group, and we want to set this as default. So now any new agent that comes onto the dashboard in the future will automatically be put into this group and start running the test already configured here. And let's go back to another group I already made. We're going to edit this and let, let's make a change here. This is the support team because we added an agent recently. Let's go ahead. There it is, the file server. We're going to add this to the group as well. Uh, we're going to keep everything else the same and not add any additional targets. Uh, but we want to add this agent to the group. So we'll again click Save. And there you go. We made a quick change to one of the existing groups. Let's look at one more way here that we can take an agent out of a group. So you can see here on the default group, we have all the agents here. Uh, we're going to move the file server. So let's get out of here and let's go to the file server. Uh, at the top middle right, click on the plus, and then you can simply just deselect, hit save. And then we go back to the manage agent group section. And if we go to edit, we can see that the file server is now gone. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at success at netbees.net.